Hello. Um, I just watched Nigel Farage uh, talking a load of crap at a reform event. And I looked through the comments and I could just see a lot of, I suppose, decent people that would consider themselves traditional conservatives all sort of saying, yes, Nigel, you're the man. Reform. Reform is the way forward. They're going to save us. Oh, dear. A lot of very, very misguided people who just are either ignoring the evidence right in front of their eyes or you know, their cognitive dissonance is, is so strong. Um, reform are just a distraction. They are there to as a bit of like red meat for conservatives and they will just be like the Tories at the end of the day and they're weak and we all know that um, Richard Tice is a globalist. He's all, he's all for the vaccine and the lockdowns and he let's give our money to um, Ukraine and all that crap. So um, there's a general election coming up and people are going to go through this this ritual that they do every four years of thinking something might change i'm gonna vote conservatives because they say they're gonna lower immigration hmm i wonder if they've ever said that again <laughs> before sorry so um you go on and you pretend that you're making a difference i might i might vote i might not i might spoil my ballot i might vote labor just so fuck it just see whether they hurry up although uh, to those people that, that are convinced that Labour are going to accelerate what the Tories are doing, don't be absolutely certain. There's a certain dark lord uh, pulling the strings of the Labour Party, and he may well be saying to um, his puppet, Keir Starmer, um, just maybe just back off just a little bit. Keep, the, keep us going, keep the managed decline going, but, you know, maybe just back off a bit. I'm not saying they will, but... Um, what chance do I think Labour have got of going four years? I don't think they have much chance at all because um, the divide, there's too many different fractions in their party as well and they can't cater to all of them. You cannot please the Islamists, Islamists you can't, and the Marxists and the globalists all together. I don't think you can anyway. So um, what we are headed towards, I'm afraid my friends out there, is a very, very dark period. And I think that we got a good chance of coming out of it and um, rebuilding what what we used to have, perhaps. But an awful lot of people are going to suffer and perish. And it just it's going to be awful. And there's an awful lot of garbage in our country that we have to get rid of. Um, whether it's called a civil war, whether it's called the Troubles, a revolution, I don't know. But I think there's going to be urban areas that are particularly enriched that are going to be official no-go no zones. Like literally, like, armed people, they're patrolling, you know, controlling. Um, get out of the cities if you can, because... Uh, you're doomed if you stay there. So, uh, yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> I used to try to white pill people. And I suppose the only, white pill pe the only white pill I have is that, you know, after all the death and destruction, that we might win. And that's about it. Um, this is the thing when you have a, a, a the first-past-the-post system, you know, you, you have this uh, two-party state which has to inevitably become a one-party state because the powerful globalists that pull the strings, you know, the puppeteers of the world, you can call them what you want to call them, uh, I don't mind, um, but they they win because they fund both sides. Look at Look at the Middle East, you know, you see those memes of the rockets coming from Gaza into Israel and then the rockets coming up to destroy those rockets coming from Israel's side, and it's like, all funded by America or Britain, you know, it's just like, yeah, just, they, they always do it, all the wars, you go back, even the Napoleonic Wars, you know, the Rothschilds, they were funding both sides, um, almost as if war's good for business, strange that, who would make money out of war, 
Anyway, so, yeah, we've got a one-party state. And for those that think our politicians are incompetent, no, they're not. They're doing an incredible job. It's just that you don't understand what their job is, do you? Their job is to extract the wealth from us, the people, pass it on with their cut to their masters, the globalist masters, um, help to get us nice and sickly, but whilst whilst we're sick, we can be very good customers for the pharmaceutical companies, and then obviously when we're too sick to do anything at all, hopefully just to, to hurry up our death as soon as possible so we're not wasting too much air. And while we're at it, let's just keep reducing the population by... Um, convincing young people to chop off their bits by convincing uh, men and women to not find each other attractive anymore uh, however whatever they do it seems to end up with less people my missus even said it the other day we were on a motorway and they were doing some work and she said what's this said, oh, they're smart motorways and I explained you know they, they take the hard shoulder and she said well how will an ambulance get when someone has an accident I said, <laughs> exactly and she went Oh, it's like the government wanted to be less people. So, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, it's going to get really, really horrible. Um, I'm hoping to get to London for Saturday. And be nice to say hello to a few people if you're around. And But what I'm really hoping for is to see just there to be an overwhelming number of people there. And the majority of them being sort of new to the movement. That would be amazing if, you know, if there can be like the majority of people there sort of woke up in the last couple of years because that will mean that the the red pilling is speeding up and, you know, th th there's a tiny, there's a bit more of a white pill there for you. The sooner the majority realise that there's no political solution and you actually have to just take the country back. It's ours. We take it back. The politicians that have been giving it away... Uh, go away behind bars for an extremely long time and I'm going to imagine a few of them are going to end up with the Gaddafi treatment and I will not shed one tear for them because it's what they deserve not that I encourage it but uh, yeah that's that really I'm going to stop before I waffle on too much longer but uh, yeah hope you're all doing alright and uh, you know if you're going to go and pretend that, there are, that we have some sort of d democratic system that <laughs> you <laughs> that you might have a party that would do what you want. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.